Okay, so today we're looking at 2.4, uh, set operations and Venn diagrams with three sets. Okay, so the objectives are to perform set operations with three sets, to use a Venn diagram with three sets, and to use the Venn diagram to prove the equality of sets, also known as De Morgan's law. Okay. So here's our first example, okay, with the set operations. And so as we look, we've got uh, the universal set are the digits 1 through 9. And then A has 5 elements in it, B has 5 elements in it, and C has 5 elements in it. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to find A intersection, and then in parentheses, B union C complement. And so the solution to this problem, okay, is that we need to find C complement first. So what's everything that's not in C? Well, we can see that 1 is not in C. 2 and 3 and 4 are. 5 is not in C. 6 and 7 are, but 8 and 9 are not. Okay, so that is my C complement. Now the next thing I need to do is after having taken care of C complement, now I need to find the union, right? So now we're going to solve for B union C complement. Now the union is typically bigger, right? So everything that's in B and C complement, right? So 1 is definitely in there. Uh, 2, 3 is definitely in there. 4 is in neither, but 5 is. 6 is in there, uh, 8 and 9 are in both, so we'll go ahead and put those in there. So that is B union C complement, alright? And you can see that the set is bigger, which is what we would expect. Now we're going to intersect that with A, right? So now you have A intersect B union C complement, and now what we're looking for is a smaller set, elements that are only in uh, this set up here and this set right here, right? So one is in both, so we're going to put that element in, one is in both. Uh, two is in both, excellent. Three is in both. Uh, four is not, five is in both. And now I'm done. And basically what I did here was I went and left to right along A because it was the smaller set and just looked for this element over here. And if this element is over here, then I write it down. If the element is not, uh, then I skip over it. So the 4 was here, but it's not over here, so it doesn't show up in the intersection. So the left to right going through one of the sets uh, gets you to the right answer pretty easily, and that makes us happy. Okay? So now, when you have three sets, Okay, the Venn diagram with three sets gives you um, eight regions. And so the first region here is all of the elements of A that are not in B or C. The second region over here are all of the elements that are in A and B, the intersection, but not in C. Okay? All of the elements in 3 are only in B and not in A and C. All of the elements in 4 are the intersection of A and C, but not in B. The region 5 is the unique one, right? It's the intersection of A and B and C. So these are elements of all three um, groups, okay? And so... Uh, Number 6, region 6, and they're all in Roman numerals, right? This is pretty common throughout. Is the intersection of B and C, but not A, okay? And then, of course, region 7 are all of the elements that are only in C and not in A or B. And then, if we had some additional elements that were still in the universal set, but not in A, B, or C, they would be out here in region 8. Um, and we have this, right? We have responses that will fall outside of, of here in region 
uh, 8. So this is sort of the, the inverse of region 5 right here. So that's the Venn diagram with three sets. Over here they have the, the fun set notation um, operations for that. All right, so now we want to use a diagram like this to be able to find some of the sets, right? So set A is pretty straightforward. Remember that set A is in region 1, 2, 4, and 5. So I'm basically just going to go um, clockwise through here and write 3 and 11 from here, 12 from here, 5 and 7 from here, and 6 from here. Now remember the the elements elements do not have to be in order. Okay, they don't. Um, but typically what we do is we go ahead and write them in order when we have digits or something that we actually can rank. So this would be three. 5, 6, 7, 11, and 12. So this is typically how you would see it uh, rank ordered even though the elements do not have to be in order. Okay? So example uh, B. Now we want A union B. So this is going to be a smaller set because it's only the elements in A and B. Okay? And so that's going to be region Two and five. Now, because it's only the three elements, we're going to have five, seven, and twelve, right? So we're only looking at regions two and five, all right? So regions two and five are the ones that are in this uh, operation, okay? Just another example as we keep going. All right, C, B intersection C. So B intersection C is going to be all of all of this over here. So we're looking at five and six as our regions, and so you're gonna have five, seven, and nine. Okay, and remember that's regions. five and six. Okay, so regions five and six are going to contain the elements five, seven, and nine, and that's going to be your B intersection C. Ah, uh, C complement. So C complement is going to be everything not in C, all right? And so everything not in C is going to be in region one, two, three, and then if we had anything in region 8, which we don't here, um, it would be anything in region 8. So it looks like we're looking at 3, 11, 12, 1, 2, and 10 from the everything not in C. And of course we could rewrite it in order. 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12, and that's probably how you see the answer in the back of the Blitzer book. Um, but notice that these are regions uh, that come from one, two, three, I know my hand's in the way, and eight, okay? All right, it's just that region eight in this particular example is the empty set. All right, so that's why we don't have any elements from it because it's part of the empty set. All right, and so these are pretty easy, so that makes us happy. All right, E, oh my goodness. Well, if you have A intersect B intersect C, this is all three sets, but they're the intersection of all three sets, right? And so what did we say the intersection of all three sets was? It was just that region 5, and that's going to be the elements 5 and 7, and of course this is just region 5, 
okay? And it's because you have two intersections here. So the set just keeps getting smaller and smaller as you keep applying that intersection um, operation, okay? <coughs> so our last objective was proving the equality of sets, and we want to prove De Morgan's Law, all right? And so this is how we're going to do it. Um, if we wanted to prove that A intersect B's complement was equal to A complement union B complement, if we wanted to prove that those were equal, what we could do is use a Venn diagram to prove this statement is true for all sets A and B, and this would be true for all sets if both sets represent the same regions in this general diagram. Then this would prove that they are equal. So if the regions represented by A union intersection B complement were equal to the regions represented by A complement union B complement, then we could say that these two things were equal because the regions would be the same. Okay? And then that way we're, we're sort of doing it in general instead of with specific elements. Alright? So, what have we got? Example number four. Okay? Um, we're going to find A intersection B's complement. So, of course, we have to find A intersection B first. So, I'm going to find A intersection B in terms of its regions, right? And so, in terms of the regions, you simply have region 2. I'm not sure if the set notation is right here. and I'm not sure if I need braces. Okay, I'm not sure about that. I put it there, so we're just going to leave it for the time being. So then the complement of that, A union B complement, is going to be everything that's not 2. Okay, so that's going to be regions 1, 3, and 4. So everything that's not 2 is regions 1, 3, and 4. Okay. So that means that for this to be true, that A complement union B complement needs to be the regions 1, 3, and 4. If it's not, then they're not the same. Okay? So we need to find A complement. A complement is going to be regions just 3 and 4. Right, and then B complement is going to be regions 1 and 4. And then, of course, we're going to take A complement union B complement. And I get to use all of those regions, and so I'm going to have regions 1, 3, and uh, 4. Oh, wait a minute, that's exactly what I had over here, right? So if you look, A intersect B complement is regions 1, 3, and 4. A complement union B complement are the regions 1, 3, and 4. And so we can say now that A union B complement is equal to A complement union B complement. And then, of course, a union B complement is going to be equal to A complement intersection B complement. So when you switch these around, De Morgan's Law still holds true, and that makes us happy. I'm going to leave this one as a proof for you in the comments section. Um, that concludes our uh, set operations with three sets and Venn diagrams and De Morgan's Law. Go on to uh, 2.5.